Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Windows 11 24H2. Yes, the update that was supposed to fix everything. But here we are in 2025, and guess what? Some bugs are still hanging around like unwanted guests. Despite multiple patches, these issues are still causing headaches for users. So let's break them down, discuss their impact, and see if there are any workarounds. Let's dive in. First up, the taskbar. This one's been a problem since the early days of Windows 11, and it's still not fully resolved. Users are reporting random freezes, icons vanishing, and even the entire taskbar crashing. It's like playing hide-and-seek with your operating system. Microsoft has released patches, but the issue persists for many. A temporary fix is to restart explorer.exe, but come on, Microsoft, we need a permanent solution. Next, we have File Explorer crashes. This is a big deal because it's something we use every single day. Users are experiencing random crashes, especially when dealing with large files or network drives. Some have found that disabling third-party extensions can help, but this is clearly a core issue that Microsoft needs to address. It's 2025. File Explorer shouldn't be this unstable. Another the Wi-Fi bug. This one's been around for a while, and it's still causing problems. Users are reporting random disconnections and slow speeds, even on stable networks. The issue seems to be tied to specific hardware configurations, which makes it tricky to fix. Updating your network drivers or resetting your Wi-Fi settings might help, but it's not a guaranteed fix. Microsoft, we need a universal solution here. Remember the blue screen of death? Well, it's back, and it's haunting Windows 11 24H2 users. Common triggers include driver conflicts and memory management issues. If you're seeing this, make sure all your drivers are up to date and run a memory diagnostic tool. But let's be real. No one wants to deal with this in 2025. Here's another one that's driving users crazy. The start menu just won't open. You click and nothing happens. Some users have found that creating a new user profile can temporarily fix this. But seriously, Microsoft, we need a proper patch for this. It's 2025. The start menu should just work. Audio issues are also on the list. Some users are reporting no sound at all while others are dealing with distorted audio. This seems to be linked to driver compatibility issues. Rolling back or updating your audio drivers might help, but it's hit or miss. For an OS that's been out for a while, this is pretty disappointing. Gamers, listen up. Windows 11 24H2 is causing performance drops in some games, especially those that rely on DirectX 12. Lowering graphic settings or disabling certain background processes might help, but this is a major letdown for gamers who upgraded for better performance. Microsoft, we need a fix for this ASAP. If you're using a laptop, you might notice your battery draining faster than usual. This seems to be tied to background processes hogging resources. Disabling unnecessary startup programs and adjusting power settings can help, but it's not a perfect fix. Laptop users deserve better battery life in 2025. Clipboard history is a lifesaver for many, but in Windows 11 24H2, it's been hit or miss. Some users report it just stops working altogether. Toggling the feature off and on in settings might help, but it's another bug that needs attention. Copy-paste shouldn't be this complicated. Last but not least, dark mode. Some apps and menus aren't respecting the dark mode setting, leading to a jarring mix of light and dark elements. It's more of an annoyance than a critical issue, but it's still something Microsoft needs to polish. Consistency matters, especially in 2025. So there you have it. These are the bugs that are still haunting Windows 11 24H2 in 2025. While some of these have workarounds, it's clear that Microsoft still has some work to do. If you're experiencing any of these issues, let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more tech updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in next one.